Good day everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. On today's video, I'm going to uh, give you a quick tutorial on how to fix uh, wireless connectivity, connectivity issue in Windows 10 or Windows 8.1, especially after you have installed a Windows update. Now, um, without wasting any time, let's get started. Now, if, uh, if you're trying to connect to wireless connection, uh, you might see an error message saying that there's no internet access. So this is a common error you would see when you're trying to connect to the Wi-Fi uh, wireless connection. Now, there are a couple of steps which you would have to go ahead and try. Now, the first thing what I would suggest you is to try an uh, inbuilt Windows troubleshooter. And in the search bar, go ahead and search for troubleshoot in the, on your Windows machine. So this will open up the Windows uh, inbuilt troubleshooter. Uh, what this will do is it will try to reset the uh, Wi-Fi settings and try if this step works. In case if it works, well and good. Um, in, in case if not, I would suggest you um, a couple of other steps. So let's look for a network related issue. Fix internet uh, find the fixed problems find and fix problems with connecting to internet or uh, other websites so click on run troubleshooter so what it will do is it will try to connect to um, try to fix the um, uh, basic um, wi-fi settings so let's wait it might take about uh, uh, two to three minutes so select the first option which says troubleshoot my connection to internet looking so it is trying to looking for the problems in web connectivity ideally most of the time uh, the troubleshooter should fix a problem uh, in case if it doesn't um, there are a couple of other steps uh, which i would uh, walk you through um, uh, while i'm uh, giving you the demonstration here so uh, these are the steps what uh, it would suggest now basically you might have already done that so in case uh, if you have not done that try to turn off your wireless device um, uh, for uh, 5 to 10 seconds and then try to turn it back and see um, and try to connect your computer to the wireless um, wireless connection in case if that works well and good I have already tried this step but this has not worked so I'm going to click on skip this step and um, the further things what you would see is problem with the wireless adapter or the access point is what it says in case if you want to uh, view more information this is where you would see it says investigate router or access point issues reset the wireless adapter this has been already done so if you scroll down a bit you would say it's problem with the wireless adapter so the next step what i would go ahead and suggest is um, um, i would go ahead and try to uh, re uh, re so now what we will do is let's go ahead and try to reset um, uh, we'll try to renew and release the IP so uh, first thing what you will have is you will have to uh, in order to release and renew the IP what you will have to do is you will have to open the command prompt in the search box you can go ahead and type CMD right click on the command prompt and click on run as administrator uh, in case if you get a user access control prompt in case if you get a user access control prompt you may click on yes or a no now in the command prompt what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and type the command which says ip config space forward slash release and hit enter so what this will do is it will go ahead and disconnect your laptop from your Wi-Fi connection now from your Wi-Fi wireless router once this is done you will have to go ahead and re renew the Wi-Fi uh, connectivity so what you will have to do is you would go ahead and retype IP config forward slash space forward slash renew and hit enter it says no operation can be performed okay uh, so let's go ahead and check if uh, the uh, if my wi-fi has been connected back it says uh, media connected windows it says media has been disconnected so uh, i you see that you you're still uh, i'm facing the uh, same problem here so the next thing what i would go ahead and do is i try to uh, reset the windsock settings so uh, 
you can open the same in the same command prompt window what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and type n net sh space winsock space reset so now once this is done um, now you will have to go ahead and restart the computer so what this will do is uh, it will try to uh, restore or re reset your um, your network connectivity uh, network adapter uh, on your windows 10 machine so once your computer has been restarted see if you try uh, try to connect uh, see if uh, you are able to connect to your Wi-Fi uh, router. In case if that doesn't work, the next thing would be you will have to open the device manager on the computer. Um, in the search box, you will have to go ahead and type device manager. In the device manager, open device manager here. And here you will have to go ahead and look for the network uh, drivers here so let me go ahead and check for the network drivers So uh, we have uh, Dell Wireless uh, 1705802 uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go ahead and uninstall the network driver it's, This might take some time so we have successfully uninstalled the network uh, drivers. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, reinstall it back. I'm going to do a right click on network adapters and click on scan for hardware changes. So the network driver is back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the network driver uh, once I uh, scan for changes. So I'm going to click on update network driver, search automatically for the driver and uh, it says as Windows has determined that a driver is already installed. There may be better drivers. So I can also go ahead and check for the uh, Windows update and see if there are any um, drivers available. So let me try to go ahead and connect to the uh, Wi-Fi connection and see if it works. So let me go ahead and type my password and click on next and click on yes. Hopefully uh, this should work um, in case if this doesn't work uh, the next thing what we will do is we will go ahead and check for the uh, drivers on the Windows update. So let's wait if uh, we are able. So uh, successfully, um, your my I uh, was able to connect my Wi-Fi to the wireless um, uh, network. So this is how you can go ahead and fix your uh, Wi-Fi uh, network uh, not working or no internet connection. I hope this video would be helpful. In case if you like this video, please make sure you hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. You have a great day and do take care.